I am Volkmar. Mercy the Mad here, and today I've got another three Summon turn guide, this counts. time for Empire or Reichland. Um, I'm going to show how to take um, all of the Reichland regions in four turns, which I think is as fast as you can do it. But my actual preferred start for Reichland is to uh, sack Ubersreich on turn three, and then just use Ubersreich and Eilhard as sack city. So I'll show that too. The key to being able to sack Ubersreich on turn three, thereby breaking the secessionists back and setting up a good sack city situation in Reichland is to recruit a second lord on turn one. Um, now, a noble lord is the best lord, I think, because that'll allow you to upgrade Altdorf one general. turn earlier, which will in turn get you crossbows one Black. turn earlier. Next, select Volkmar, and then move him about 50% of his movement towards Grunberg. You don't have to move any closer, that'll be close enough for him to get there next turn. You can put him in in camp stance for some extra defenses, but it's uh, not really needed as the enemy generally won't attack, they'll just stay there and wait for you to kill them next turn. Um, then you want to recruit three units of free company militia, I think are the best units at this stage, but really any units will do fine. If you're playing as Volkmar, you can equip the Reichland Runefang as uh, Karl Franz is not using it currently. Then you can do your diplomacy and your research. Don't forget to upgrade Altdorf before you end your turn. If you manage to uh, recruit a Noble Lord, then this will take you one, one turn less than it normally would. Turn 2. Select Volkmar and attack the Secessionist army outside of Grunberg. I'd suggest that you fight this battle manually. You can um, harass the enemy's archers with your cavalry to keep them from firing. Uh, maybe tie up the enemy uh, leader with some of your spearmen. Don't don't necessarily engage him with Volkmar, he might not come off too well. Um, and you should be able to fight this battle with minimal losses. However, since you've recruited those extra units, um, the battle will still be quite easy to auto resolve as well. Then you want to attack Grunberg with Volkmar. Um, I suggest you sack the city initially to get the extra replenishment um, and then occupy it separately. That way you won't take as much penalty to your public order as you would if you um, looted it. Next, you want to select your other lord and move him up towards Ubersreich. Make sure you save 25% of their movement so you can put them in ambush stance. Put them in ambush in this forest, um, then they'll have about 70% chance to ambush. After you've put them in ambush stance, their movement will be locked, they won't be able to move, but you can still hold down right click and um, drag it out to Ubersreich to check that they've got enough movement to get their next turn. The red line indicates how far they can move next turn, so if the red line reaches to Ubersreich, you know that you're close enough. Before you end your turn, make sure you level up Volkmar, um, taking the extra movement, and recruit three more units into his army. Okay, turn three. This is where it's all going to happen. Um, now, a quick note, this ambush can fail 30% of the time. If that happens, then most likely the secessionists will come down from Ubersreich, um, attack this lord, follow up again and probably kill him um however it's not the end of the world um because they'll then be out of position away from the reinforcements of Uber Ubersreich and Volkmar's army will be able to easily kill their army down here in uh, in Reichland um it'll just mean that you won't be able to take Ubersreich in turn three but you'll still be able to take them on turn four and they won't have built up um you know significant troops like they would if normally if you delayed um, until turn four or five Assuming your ambush didn't fail, you select your other lord and then um, move them up to attack Ubersreich. Take them out! Combat awaits! Just in circle strike for now. First, strike fast! All or nothing! Then select Bogmar, move him up. He won't have enough movement to make it there normally, so you'll have to put him into um, forced march stance. This is why. Move him into reinforcement range. And now when you attack, you'll be able to take out Ubers Reich. Um, now this battle actually can be auto-resolved, but if you auto-resolve it, you'll probably regret it. I'd recommend that you definitely fight this battle manually, and uh, make, make sure that you don't lose any units. Um, if you do this battle successfully, then that's it. You've broken the back of the secessionists in three turns. Um, they will still keep trying to recruit stuff from Isleheart. Um, maybe they'll raise a Lord from uh, Helmguard occasionally, but basically they've got no ability to really recruit any high tier units. They're just going to be putting out sort of like swordsmen and, um, and basic archers, and uh, you'll be able to just keep farming them down and stopping them from ever really building anything up. 
I find it much easier to take out Uber's Reich with this uh, sort of three turn method because if you wait till sort of turn five or um, or even four sometimes the enemy will have um, you know a, a decent half stack there plus they'll have the garrison plus they might have an additional lord there as well all around Uber's Reich and you have to fight them all together sometimes it can be hard sometimes you even have to go back and recruit more I find this three turn blitz just much more straightforward If you want to conquer all of Reichland in four turns, then you occupy Uber's Reich, transfer all your troops into the Lord occupying Uber's Reich so they can get some extra replenishment and recruit three more units. And then uh, in turn, and then next turn, move on Eilhart, take uh, take Eilhart, you can auto-resolve that battle, um, and then you'll have conquered all of Reichland and consolidated the province. Sigmar is with us. If we just rewind a bit though to just after he sacked Uber's Reich, um, what I actually like to do instead of continuing on next turn to Eilhart to conquer everything, I like to just sack Uber's Reich, don't occupy it, then just pull back into Grunberg's territory to get some replenishment and your um, your, your non-legendary lord should have enough movement to actually be able to recruit, grab another three units then if you want, and then um, just uh, replenish over the end turn, and then on turn four next turn, just sack Uber's Reich again. Um, but this time uh, camp your lords on the far side of Uber's Reich over towards Eelhart. Um, then you end turn and then next turn you'll be able to sack Uber's Reich again um, but also you'll have enough movement to be able to make it all the way to Eilhart and sack Eilhart as, as well. And then you camp next to Eilhart over the end turn Next turn, sack Eilhart, and you'll have enough movement to get back over to Uber's Reich. Sack Uber's Reich. Um, and then you should have, if you're starting to get a little bit damaged, you should have enough movement to just um, force march a little bit extra back into Grunberg territory or um, or Altdorf territory, replenish over the end turn, and then next turn you'll only be able to sack um, Uber's Reich, not both of them, but you can get into position to do the double sack the following turn, and so on and so forth. Now, each time you sack one of these um, busted territories, you're only going to probably get about 150 gold or something. Um, unless they've spawned a lord if they've spawned a lord there that maybe you won't have any army but just the lord himself should give you an extra few hundred gold you might even get a thousand gold out of the sack including the um the loot for the battle as well so you know you're potentially missing out on 250 gold a turn if you had a um, built industry um in the town if you'd taken it over and occupied it but you're probably getting uh you know about 180 gold per city that you sack if you're sacking both of them you'll be getting 350 if there's a lord that gets spawned every so often you'll kill him as well you get another few hundred gold so you're not losing out that much that much gold um plus you don't have to spend any money on repairing the towns you don't have to upgrade any of the buildings build any buildings and most importantly of all you don't have to defend them because they're not yours so you don't have to worry about marienburg coming down and taking them over you don't have to worry about the uh, bretonian um dukes coming down and taking um you know, coming through um, Uber's Reich and taking that over. Um, you will have to worry about the Skull Smasher Orcs coming down. You'll have to fight that full stack of Orcs that come down. Um, but basically, you don't have to defend Reichland. Altdorf has got a, a very powerful garrison for the early game, um, and the more you level it up, the more powerful it gets. Um, it can almost look after itself most of the time and needs very minimal defense. Um, and much easier to hold only Altdorf um, and just use every, farm everything else as a sack city. Now, this sack method will also get you lots of XP to level up Volkmar fast. Um, if you go towards his, um, through his blue line, you'll get a plus five recruit rank for warrior priests and um, plus one recruit limit for warrior priests. Um, and that kind of is the other sort of center point to my sack strategy. Uh, I get warrior priests ASAP, get to tier three as soon as you can. That's where the noble lord comes in handy to give you that um, one turn quicker to, to rank two yes. and then one turn quicker to rank three once you've got enough growth to get your Eldorf up to rank three. Um, and then you can build the um, warrior priest uh, temple uh, a turn earlier as well. So you basically get warrior priest three turns early, earlier if you keep that, um, keep that noble lord going. And those warrior priests come out with plus seven ranks because of Volkmar, which means they can immediately get plus two to their or two points into their growth ability. Um, so basically, they're giving you a plus 30 growth for each of your four warrior priests. So it's 120 growth, which is like more than you would have gotten in if you build growth buildings in all of the buildings in all of the settlements. So, um, so yeah, so that's um, that's kind of how I, you know, still make decent money, um, still have good growth so you get into tier four very fast and um, heaps and heaps of experience on Volkmar and another Lord and leveling up your, um, your warrior priests to get very powerful when they go to high two. Um, so that's, that's what I do anyway, and um, yeah, hopefully you find this video interesting. I'm gonna make another video uh, specifically about sack cities, I think, pretty soon. Um, but, um, and I'll probably make some more sort of three, four turn guides as well. 
Um, so yeah, if you're interested in seeing more of that content, then um, yeah, please check out my channel and um, you can subscribe for future videos. Uh, thanks, that's all I got. Cheers.